Scott, hello. Hello, Stan. How are you? Very good, Scott. Yeah, um, why do you always knock youth unemployment? I don't knock youth unemployment. I try to solve the problem of you youth don't unemployment. Solve the problem, do you? What do you do? What do I do? Well, I work very hard. Doing what? Well, doing what I do. Two things that you do for youth unemployment? What do I do for youth unemployment? I mean, you're earning like nearly $2 million a year. What do you do? Well, I do a lot. I, I keep uh, businesses going because of uh, my advertising that I do, and therefore they can go out and employ a lot of young people out there. What about TUE? What do they do? Well, TUE do very well in the business of entertaining and broadcasting and advertising and all that sort of stuff. Who do they employ? They employ roughly about 150 full-time people and about another 150 part-time people. Why don't you get any of them on your show then? Well, what do you mean? Prove yourself. What do you mean? Prove that you've got a good stand on youth unemployment. Show that you're a good bloke and employ a few people from, like... Well, I employ enough. I employ enough people as it is. Thank you very much. Under the age of eighteen. Me personally. Yes. Me personally. Let me have a think about that. Uh, no, I don't. Why not? Because I have no need to employ anybody under the age of eighteen. Because well, we can give you valuable insight on what uh, we think. On what? Like abusing people. I mean. Well, I mean, we you are the masters of abusing people. Are you really? Yes. What? All the people under the age of eighteen are. Uh, Masters of abusers, are they? Large majority of us, yes. All right. Well, I mean, let's let's see if you can, for 60 seconds, if you can uh, string enough words together, you abuse me without using any profanities. Okay. You ready to go? No, not yet. Give me a few seconds. Would you like to have a bit of breathing time? No. I we'll don't play some music time. while you get your words together? Yeah. See, I have to do it off the top of my head. I mean, I don't have any of this preparation or anything like that. I just oh, do it at the top of my head. seconds delay on the radio. Oh, beg your pardon? you got your few seconds delay on the radio to come up with something. Well, no, it's not a few seconds delay. That's when I cut... With his junk anyway. I beg your pardon? Most of the stuff would come out with his junk anyway. Well, if you don't like it so much, why do you... You're an idiot. You're a goose. <laughs> well, OK. Now it's your turn. Yeah. You ready to go? Yeah. OK, where you go. Okay, you're a fat Czechoslovakian bus who sits there and stuffs his face with pizzas all day. See, look, unfortunately, you, you just you just really have to understand you cannot go, go around using that sort of language on public radio. I know we do have a little bit of freedom here at night, but no, it wouldn't be a nice look with all that over me, would it, Grace? It wouldn't be indeed.